Hi, this is Bibi. So it's Monday evening, roughly about six, between six and seven, closer to seven, I think, in Oklahoma. And I'm trying to open up a bank account with Zelle that carries Zelle for my business. Because a lot of people use Zelle. I use Zelle for quite a while. It's easy peer-to-peer -peer transaction. And most banks, a lot of banks, not most, mo a lot of banks offer Zelle right from their platform. I think I mentioned something about it before. So I'm trying to open up a an account because Zelle has a list of all the banks that carry its uh, program from the from its dashboard all, a list of all the banks that carry its program from the dashboard it has a, it has a list so you can open up an account now there's before i i always had bad credit my credit was never great and i actually had a Zelle before, like I said, and I had no problems with Zelle, none. If I call a Zelle employee now, which is early warning services, they own Zelle, I don't know. They can't find anything. They're trying, they're just as puzzled. Unfortunately, in addition to not finding anything, there's not much they can do in way of helping me to sort this out. Because they're trying... Like just minor things, you know, is it a rooted phone? Is it a, a prepaid phone? How long have you had the phone? What is the phone company? Did you change your phone number? Because all I had it, it was working perfectly fine. And because of the hacking, I closed the account. And I bought a new phone, downloaded the app, about to uh, install. You know, it, it wouldn't let me open up an account. I tried to download, I tried to, to open up a simple checking account with banks that offer Zelle. I can't do that either. I'm finding myself suddenly on this thing called a check system. My credit was already, always bad. I never been on this check system or even if I was, it was never a problem. Suddenly, it doesn't matter what my credit score is, it's not letting me open up any bank accounts anywhere. These people are trying to, this woman is trying to squeeze me out of this country. She's trying to make this as hard as possible for me, like trying to make my life as difficult as possible. She's trying to make my, my whole life and everything that I do as difficult as possible. This I know 100% for sure is what she's trying to do. She's just trying to make my life miserable. She's trying to block me in every way that she can block me. Every possible way that this woman can block me, she's trying to block me. And this is the reason why they're following me. And she has hacked into every single device that I have. Now, this is not just a mere obsession because I can't see what, what, what kind of fetish would this be? Is it a sexual thing? What is this? What kind of fetish would this be? What, what kind of fetish would this be to be hacking one woman and every device she has? Now, let's say that she thinks I know something about her or her boyfriend or her family member. And she's looking to see, let's say one of them is wanted. I don't know. Let's just go out on a limb here. And she's looking to see if the police will contact me or anybody will contact me. Or let's say when they, they stole my grandma's stamps, in the accumulation of them acquiring the stamps, something bad happened to someone I know or a family member. And they're afraid that somehow a piece of information will get to me that will sink them into the ground with the law. Now, what do they have to block me for? What do they have to check my bank account and all these things for? I don't have any money. The thing is, 
they already stole shit from me. What are they looking for? What, what, what is this? I mean, like, it, it, who are they trying to fool themselves? They were the ones who stole. They are the ones who are paying people to mess with me. They have money. I don't. If, let's say that they're, they're hurt. Their feelings got hurt because it wasn't enough. They wanted more money. You can't blame me. Those stamps don't have my face on them. They don't have my ugly face on them. So I don't know how much money they got for them. Let's say that they, they were sorely disappointed because they wanted a lot more. What, what, what's that got you? You're going to penalize me? For what? My, it was my grandma's stamps and they were supposed to be mine. And uh, I don't know. I am not a stamp collector. I grew up with them in the house. My grandma knew at some point that they would have been um, worth something. That's the Amazon guy. That they would have been worth something. And just, you know, that, that she kept them for me. But now I'm wondering is like, what is the problem here? What is the problem? What could they possibly be blocking me with? I think that I figured this out. What if these stamps are worth so much money that they could be exceedingly rich? And I'm talking millionaires here. Yeah, I know it's a one-time deal, but it's a lot of freaking money. It's probably worth a lot of money. I'm talking not hundreds of thousands, but millions of dollars. She had a whole purse of them. She had rare coins, old coins from that from that country. I'm talking before my country got independence from the British people. So they are rare. They're old. They will fetch a pretty penny to the right collectors. I don't know for the, as God is my witness, how they ended up with them. I don't know. This is why I'm wondering in the accumulation of these things, did they hurt someone? Did they do something bad? Why are they so adamant about getting me either killed or, de or deported or just written off the page? Because make, I have, make no mistake, my friends. This woman is out to kill me. She wants me dead. She wants me dead. This, she is cold. She's calculating. And she is a danger to me. She's a danger to me. And she might have been a danger to somebody else in the past. That's one viable possibility or option that might have happened. That's one thing that something must have happened that she's afraid that if it comes to light, it will link directly to she and her boyfriend. And they're afraid of that. See, if they send me back, if, if, if they not send me back, if they, if they do something to get me deported, it's highly unlikely whether I will have any voice. It's if they do something to, to create a lot of legal problems for me, then there's deportation for sure. They know these things because they themselves are, are migrants. They're from different countries, but they're migrants. They are migrants. They're migrants too. I mean, I don't know. Is either that or they were live streaming me with these, whatever these eye things or whatever, the, whatever they are. It's something they did to me. Whatever it is, it is not good. Whatever they did to me, it is not good. Whatever is pushing them to such extreme lengths to do this to me, it is not good. That I know for sure, 100% right off the top of my head, it is not good. Whatever they've done to me is not good. But I have a belief that they have those stamps because they're missing. There's two sets of things, like I said, are missing. The, 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 everything that was in the wardrobe, not just one item from within a whole 
bunch of other stuff. Everything is missing. So somebody took, cleaned the whole thing out. Somebody cleaned the whole uh, uh, a wardrobe. It's, it's a wardrobe. It's like a closet, but it's a, it's a portable one. It's made of wood. Big heavy duty thing though, you know, it takes several people to lift it. So everything was gone. Then there's stuff missing from here in this country that's pertaining to my mother. So that's missing too. So, hmm. Don't know. I don't know what happened here. But I'm just pissed off because I can't even open up a bank account to get Zelle again. Like, I, I can't do it. This, this woman sits on me and blocks me and shit talks 24 hours a day. Just talking childish shit 24 hours a day. Shit talk, shit talk. Stupid. Now, that might be the extent of her intelligence level. I don't know. Maybe... You know, even if you're just a voice in my head hoping for some intelligent conversations is a fucking no-no. Because she can't talk about things she don't know. She can't choose a topic that she's not enlightened about or is even aware of. She, you know, she can't talk about things she don't know. What does she know how to do? How to microwave people, how to brain scan them, brain scan them how to put uh, stuff in their food, what to spritz, what to spray. That's her topic of conversation. I don't give a crap. I don't give a crap. How to hack into people's stuff, how to just say stupid shit 24 hours a day. She specializes in that. She specializes in that. Her, her conversations are like those of a child. She's like a child, basically. A child in a grown woman's body. I thought when I, when, when I first saw like the, the, the behavior a little bit, I thought it was because the boyfriend must have beat her up or something, or it was just because she was like an abused woman and he was taking advantage of her. And that was the result of it. I was wrong. The whole thing was a setup, was to make me believe that. Was to make me believe that. So if... I, I don't know, unless she's just accustomed to talking to teenagers. That's another way to look at this. Because if they're live streaming people, if this, was, if this is a part of what they do, for, let's say stamps were not the issue, that they were live streaming us, they, she must have been doing this to teenagers. And that's part of the problem, what they were deathly afraid of, because the law will not be kind to them. The law will not be kind to them for that. It will not be kind to them for that. And they, and I think they know that. She's telling me, no, my, my, my YouTube channel is going to be shut down. It's what you're going to do. If it is shut down, it's shut down. That's what she, she's just telling me in my head. It's going to be shut down. Hey, she's trying to show power here. She may want you all to know, too, how long her reach is, how powerful she is. She is powerful. She wants to run the underworld, it seems. And she probably can do it if she has the funds. Because she can buy a lot of... She can surround herself with these gang stalkers that keeps people at bay from getting close to she and her man. To keep law enforcement running here, running there, running here, running there, running here, running there, running all over the place. And instead of getting close to them. Because this is what the gang stalkers do. They have people going, just going running around like a chicken with its neck cut off or its head cut off. Running blindly. And it must be doing that to law enforcement as well. So that's one of, that's one of the problems here. So... I just wanted... I just, I'm, I'm at my wit's end. I just... I just the pressure is, is a lot, and I just, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Everything I go to do is like I'm hitting a dead end, a dead end, a dead wall with her. And I can't, it, she wants me to say I hate her. That goes without saying. I don't have to say it, honey. Yes, I do. 
Do you want to hear it? Next time. Hit me. Hit me up later. She wants to hear it. Somebody out there, tell her. Tell her, you know. She wants reinforcement. She likes to... She likes to self-bash. I call it self-bashing because as soon as I get angry, she will feel threatened. She puts me in a corner just so she can feel threatened. They have no shame. They're shameless. They have no empathy. They're just a shameless bunch. I would call them killers at this point. They're sadistic, cold, cruel, calculating killers and the law enforcement will eventually have to deal with them exactly the way they see themselves. Because this is the image they're trying to portray. That's the image they want to portray of themselves. That's the image law enforcement. Take it from there. That's it. Don't look for anything else. Don't look for why they became that way or how they became that way. Deal with the situation the way you find it. That's it. That's who they are. That's who they claim to be. That's who they're showing us they are. That's who they are eventually. Don't question it. Deal with it. Just deal with them that way. But anyway, one of the things to note for, if you're being hacked and if you find that you're trying to open up accounts and you can't, um, take a look at this MySpy and Spyic and um, these... these, these um, apps that they put to, to monitor children because I'm, I'm not sure how it goes and these things are based actually not they're not um they're not american companies actually they're based like in the philippines and indonesia and these places and these places are not the most honest people because i'm sure that some of those people have information that just they, they, these people, whoever is, 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 is behind it, whoever wrote this program, have information to all kinds of people's stuff. Now, I don't know what the procedure is. They don't use, I think, social security number and all that in the, um, in the Philippines. So I don't know what they're asking for. I mean, how are they going to know? They can get anybody's kid. They can put their own kid, own kid's name and date is a real kid and use somebody else's phone number. She could use, I mean, she's a hacker, right? She can use anybody else's kid in their social security number if they're asking for that and use my phone number. Now, it's, it has like a child lock, things like anything you want to do that, you know, a grown-up would do, you can't do it. Your phone is, is blocked from doing it. You can't use your credit card. You can't use your card. You can't do anything. You're blocked from using it. That's what, this, that's what they do. And these, th those people have their, they have access to all now, all information. Now I've just thought of something. If the hackers hack into their database, man, they got, ooh, they got info on people's assets up the wazoo. They've got access to everybody's files because, like I said, these places are less than reputable. I don't think a lot of them. They probably might have some local representatives, but it's based in different countries. Why I said this, when I moved from California to Vegas, um, I left my phones at home. I think I, I had a little Nokia phone just to, you know, because I was, I knew I was being hacked and my friend was trying his best to help me. So I, I, I left and I went to the library and I was doing some work at the library. And as I got up, to leave, I turned off the, the computer and I was watching the computer, right? As, because, you know, everybody does that to make sure it's, it's just, you're just logged off completely and it's shut down before you leave, at least I do. And I'm watching it and it, it said, this app is preventing the system from shutting down. And when I look, I saw the word spy, but as soon as I saw it, it went off, it went off. I remember the terminal, it was terminal 33, and it was the, 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 um, the library in Las Vegas. The terminal was 33, I remember exactly where it was. And I saw it, I'm like, whoa, I saw the word spy. So I don't know if it was my spy or spy, but I saw, or spy ick, I'm not sure which one, but I saw the word spy. 
It said this app is preventing the system from shutting down. So if you're having a lot of problems where you can't use your cards, check with these companies. Highly unlikely what they'll tell you the truth, but at least you'll have you know some idea what the hell is happening. Having an idea, I don't know how helpful it is to some people because I think it's just more frustrating, but for me, I'd rather know. I'd rather know than just be in the dark even about that. So I wish I have some good news and maybe soon somebody will have some good news and then we can start seeing some results from this. I don't know. From whatever, the, you know, hopefully there is a police dragnet out there, an FBI dragnet looking for people like them. I have no idea. I'm just hoping that they, there is. I am.